<clears throat> this this started as a grave concern to me, and um, and I think that that we've heard it touched on tonight, and, and actually I. I had a conversation with Buddy earlier about you know the topics the, the the treatment of this issue, which is, do we want to have a big conversation about the Second Amendment? Um, you're about to hear my thoughts on the Second Amendment, and that is that I'm concerned about what we hear from our law enforcement professionals. I'm concerned about what I hear from our businesses. You have heard me at this dais talk about my abhorrence of bad legislation. It, it is one of the things that, that absolutely grates on my last nerve is when I see us working at something that I think we should do better. And, and it strikes fear into my soul when I think that bad legislation is going to affect my ability to exercise an enumerated constitutional right. To me, that, that is, this is where you answer the bell, and the bell is ringing. And either we stand up and we say, no, we're not going to sit idly by and wait for some other legislature to take a look at this. We are going to tell our governor this is unacceptable. And we're going to tell him in the best way we possibly can, which is in support of our citizens. I have already told our governor, as an individual citizen of the state of Colorado, what I think of this abhorrent legislation, what I think of this most arrogant legislature I have ever seen in my life, and a time when humility is out the window, when one party controls our House, our Senate, and our governor's office, and they push something through like this that limits my constitutional right, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to be counted and I'm going to answer that bell. And we're doing that, and I am proud of all of you for doing it. I'm proud of all of you. I'm proud of our staff for standing up and saying, you know what, this isn't right. These are, these are effects that, that, let's say they're unintended, but let's also say they could have been foreseen. There's no reason why the things we're talking about here tonight should not have been somehow looked at as this legislation was screamed through the State House and shuttled off to the governor's desk. I sent the governor multiple letters while this sat on his desk, and I, I heard not one answer from him. I called into the Mike Rosen show after we sent our letter to ask him personally, has he received it? No, he hadn't received it. Describe to him what the problems were that we were seeing at the city of Loveland and ask if he would be able to do something. His words were, we can find ways to navigate around the law. Is that acceptable to any of us? I, it is not to me. You pass a law, you expect it to be enforced, you expect it to be written well enough that it can be enforced as it is, not to find ways to navigate around it. The thing that also upset me was within minutes of that phone call, I checked my email and I had a response from the governor's office. He'd never seen this letter. His legal beagles took it, gave us a completely unsatisfactory answer, and shot it back to us, which tells me just about how much we're going to get treatment from the governor's office. It tells me just about how high this level of concern rises from a community representing 70,000 citizens. And we send a letter to the governor, and it doesn't even make it to his desk. And we sent a letter about one of the most important issues in this country. This is not just some mild little thing. This is the Second Amendment to our United States Constitution, the right to keep and bear arms. And we get a passing treatment from our governor. I, I thank you guys for supporting this, and, I, and I'm absolutely proud of this council for being willing to step up. I, I, I have had more commentary about this issue from people in the streets of this city than almost any issue we have ever touched. And it's because we have people who are absolutely concerned about this. We have people who are actively looking to move out of our state because they find this kind of control of their lives abhorrent. And we're doing something about it. And I am absolutely pleased and honored to sit on this dais with you.